Hello people and welcome to Crypto Exposed. 80% of banking industry in Japan is a Ripple partner. Research shows. Okay guys, let's get into this. So, um, this is a little bit of a cautionary tale here. And this is definitely something I wanted to share with you because um, I saw this article. And um, yeah, originally when I saw this, I was like, okay, that sounds good. You know, I read the article and um, on the surface, it, it was all good, right? <laughs> on the surface, it seemed great talking about 80% of the banking industry uh, using uh, Ripple and XRP. Um, one thing I will say is this. Um, there's a CEO of SBI, right? Which is a big Japanese uh, company financial company and there was a statement that we're all aware of that he said you know by 2025 every bank in japan will be using ripple and xrp and so you know this is something that i'd heard from a long time ago and to me when i heard that the way i looked at this was i thought it was very optimistic forecasting right so i wasn't literally thinking okay that's definitely going to happen but i was like okay for me, I look at it as like shoot for the moon if you miss it still among the stars, right? That kind of thing. So even if it's not every bank, let's just say, you know, 60%, you know, 80% or whatever, like that's still obviously great, 50%, whatever. So I just took it as maybe this guy really does love Ripple and XRP. And so he's maybe exaggerating a little bit, but, you know, he's basically saying there will be big adoption. Um, but I was always willing to check and see how they get on, you know, like I was always thinking, okay, you know, Let's see, because look, I'm not in Japan, you know, I'm not one of these big entities who's using um, XRP. So I can't necessarily just say, oh, this is fake, whatever. Right. I can't. Um, this guy would be in much more of a position to, you know, give these kind of forecasts than me. So I always was like checking in on this. So when I obviously saw this, I was like, oh, 80 percent, like maybe he's you know, maybe his theory, his, uh, his prediction will come to fruition. Maybe, you know, by 2025, every bank will be using XRP. So obviously this was really great for me to see. But, um, then I saw a post by Crypto Eric, which I want to share with you guys, because I'm always about full transparency and not trying to deceive the audience. So we've got here Crypto Eri saying, how many influencers did you listen to in brackets or read their post that used this story in their content? yikes hashtag no research again and the uh, article that they're referring to is the one that i've just gone through 80 percent of banks in japan partnered with ripple um is this bullish for xrp so clearly referring to this article so for me I i'm never trying to mislead my audience this is why i'm sharing it with you guys because um clearly i, I don't want people to see this article and you know get carried away or be thinking you know this is 100 accurate because according to crypto area it's not now i will say this just on top of this because obviously i was just speaking about the uh, ceo of sbi one of the first posts after this um is someone who says well when the ceo of sbi says that all banks in japan will be using xrp in 2025 are, are we supposed to not believe him then and crypto area turns around and says he didn't say that so look i'll be honest with you when I talk about this, what I've heard, it really is just like um, articles that I've seen. Um, I've never actually seen the CEO say it publicly in a video or anything like that. So to be honest with you, could Crypto Eri be right here? Absolutely. And look, I'll say this. Um, Crypto Eri does XRP content. She, as far as I know, is an XRP holder. I mean, obviously things may have changed over time i don't know but she does xrp content and crypto area is one of the few influencers who isn't trying to uh deceive her audience either she's always given us the reality you know the realistic um expectations for xrp so i'll be honest with you i am willing to take her word for it to be honest because she's not someone who's trying to do hype content she's not someone who's pushing for you know unrealistic price targets and stuff like that so i've got no reason to believe that she's saying this to um to, to you know to to lie i've got no reason to believe that she's making this up um to be negative about xrp because she's an xrp content creator right she's actually very um she's actually very optimistic about xrp but in a realistic way not in the you know every bank in the world is going to use it it's going to flow up to ten thousand dollars etc etc so um there was a thing here where 
it got a little bit further into it and she was explaining about the CEO of SBI Remit and also this article as well about the 80% of banks in Japan uh, partner with Ripple. And um, this is the thing that I will say, right? Crypto Eri lives in Japan and the article that she posted was Japanese. So my thing is this, right? Because obviously here she said, how many influencers did you listen to or, you know, read their post, including this story? I'm going to actually give influencers... I'm going to give them a bit of a break here, to be honest with you, because if you see this article and you read the article, there's nothing in there to make you think that you're being misled. There's nothing in there to think, OK, this is just a hype article or anything like that. There's, there's really not. And in all fairness, the reason why um, Eri had this information is because it's from a Japanese article. Well, I'm not Japanese. I can't read Japanese. I've got no reason to look into Japanese media. <laughs> Do you see what I'm saying? So I'll be honest with you. I think it's a bit unfair to attack influencers in this regard because I, I do think like if you see this article and you read the article, you've got no reason to think that it's actually shady. To be honest with you, you would just think it's a general article and, you know, you just take it at face value. Um, but in terms of the research, yeah, OK, fair enough. Like, I think that's a, a fair point to say. But I also think you've got to understand that people are not going to start going into like Japanese article and Japanese media to try and do you know what I mean to really try and uh, figure all this out because that's just it's not that it's a lot of effort it's just difficult right like if we're not Japanese because when you try and translate certain words in certain foreign contexts it can be completely different and I've seen this as well um, even in like my line of work right like with certain countries you can have one word and it means something but then when you use it in a sentence it turns into a completely different meaning so it can really be hard to decipher foreign language at times. So I'm not really going to knock um, any influencers who've covered this because I do think that would be unfair. But I will say, just be careful, right? Just be careful because, you know, when I first saw this, I was like, oh, that's really good. You know, I read the article and I was like, you know, yeah, that that seems cool. Like, that's great. But clearly now um, I see it differently because, you know, I I've seen what Crypto Area said. And I obviously realize now that this isn't quite what it's being made out to be. So Crypto Ari said she was going to cover um, this in a video. I haven't watched the video, to be honest with you, but obviously feel free to go and check out Crypto Ari's channel if you want to try and find out what's really going on. Because she said, you know, I am going to address this in a video. So um, she's clearly going to have addressed it in a bit of a more specific way. But yeah, the reason I'm showing you this is, again, it's just a cautionary tale because, you know, there are going to be influencers who again it's sometimes unintentionally right like i've said this before there are some influencers who are just pushing hype content knowing that they're pushing hype content like knowing that this stuff's not really realistic but they're doing it for the views and you know the engagement but there are some people who genuinely believe what they're saying right like they they're being misleading but not intentionally that they're spreading what they think is true so I'm going to say this, like, you know, I'm not about to just attack influencers who haven't covered it in the way I have, because I do think that it wasn't obvious that like, this isn't one of those where it's like, OK, you can read the article and see this, this and this and clearly tell that this is fake. Like, it's really not that obvious, to be honest with you. Um, but I will just say, obviously, just be careful, because um, let's just say this, even influencers who may have seen this post by Eri, would they correct it? Do you see what I'm saying? Like, I'm here showing you the real side of this, right? Like, showing you what's really being said. Um, I'm sure there's some influencers who've probably seen this post, but they're not going to correct their post or their video. They're just going to leave it as it is. Um, and that's what you've still got to be careful for, because, again, you could be getting misleading content, right, and unrealistic expectations from this kind of stuff. So I'll leave it there. But, again, um, just be careful with what you watch. Be careful what you read. Um, you know, I, I suppose we are at a point where we do have to question, like, I don't want to say everything, but yeah, I guess, I guess we really have got to just, you know, not always just take everything at face value because not everything may be accurate. And I guess that's just the time we're in, but I'll leave it there. But what do you guys think? 80% of banks in Japan partnered with Ripple. Let me know your thoughts, guys. I'd be interested to hear. Thank you very much for watching this. If you did like it, please remember to drop a comment, like, and subscribe. But until next time, take care.